worth it. Yeah, Nox is Flack here, and welcome to another StarCraft video. Today we will be playing the single-player campaign of the original StarCraft, and it's a big day today because it is the time for the last mission of the Zerg Episode 2 campaign. I've enjoyed it, but again, my favorite race is the Terran, and my second favorite race is the Protoss. I think the Zerg are gross, <laughs> so I'm kind of happy it's almost over. But before we get started, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and with that out of the way. That is spooky. You have done well, my Cerebrate. The Protoss can do nothing but flee before the onslaught of the swarm. But now you must assault one final site before our conquest is assured. Behold, there is a temple not far from here that lies upon ground most hallowed. Though I have borne witness to the passing of countless millennia, the temple which you must assault is older by far. For it was constructed by my creators, the Zelnaga and it marks the site where the Zelnaga first set foot upon Ayr. The temple must be cleared, and the Kedaran crystal set in its place. Only then shall the way be made ready, for it is upon that ground alone that I may be manifest. The Zelnaga created the Zerg? Zerg Queen and Snare Spell. The virus play can be cast in cloak units to allow units to. Okay. So let's get to it, huh? Looks like we have units that we're beginning with here. Okay, I know. Not sure exactly how this is all gonna go down, but that's a pretty annoying uh, distance away, if you ask me. <clears throat> we'll make you control group one. Oh goodness. Okay. They're giving us a lot of resources. Let's get our econ up. Problematic. So, I like, I've accepted that you're gonna die. Uh, looks like, um, in order to access this mineral field, we will have to destroy that base. Yeah. And that's okay. But this is, this is easy access. So currently, Vespine seems to be a little harder to get to than other things. Also looks like they started. That's fine. 
Looks like there's another base here. Oh my goodness. Just do that, thank you. Alright, so there's a ton of, uh, of uh, minerals. But I'm not seeing any more Vespian deposits yet. two overlords that makes a lot of sense actually since we have all these resources I'm I'm not a larva capped <laughs> but I am housed which is never fun all right zerg extractor done all right interesting level I don't remember this level very clearly Justify a second base here. Two major reasons. First one, of course, being um, more uh, unit production, but also a little closer drop off point. those units to be like what defends us early while we're building up the econ. Alright, we need to start bringing in that best screen, aren't we? I can do a layer. And I can do uh, armor upgrades. I don't have any issues with that. Anti-air, anti-air. More resource gathering. Very good.
Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Working on it. <laughs> Evolution complete. Something's going on here. Why aren't you spreading a little faster? Con building is going decent. Alright, more armor for all of our boys. All this extra resource, all these extra resources, excuse me, is going to benefit us, but get in there. Do it. Yes! I want this covered in my purple stuff. I recognize how bad that sounds. Okay, we're gonna get some more hydras. area because that's annoying if that's true So I think we can get more easy access to that. We're gonna do increased overlord sight range. Alright, you're gonna be control group zero. They're gonna start building flyers. So we seem to be doing pretty well on our we build some more buildings. Economy for now. Yeah, big old for now. Nest to continue upgrading through the tech tree. So we're mineral-wise, I'm feeling pretty good. Vespine is what I'm concerned about, and the mutalists are going to cost me a lot of Vespine. 
Not to mention all of these technologies that I really want. Fifty for the hive, and I definitely need the hive. That's not a question. Hydra's defense right now. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Annoying. All right, control group one has ten people in it. And then I think we're just gonna get like a bunch of zerglings because currently I just have a lot of minerals and not a lot of espines. So during those in between periods where I'm wondering what should I do, I'm gonna save my uh... yeah, and I'm gonna have a ton of just overlords, so I don't need to worry about pop cap later. Just be the plan. Yep, very nice. Remain calm. Good. So we're down to 3,000 best speed. By the way, this is the temple I must do some bad stuff to. Hive is done, so we're going to do the adrenaline clans. Yeah, I want you to just go there. See how much you can see. See, so I got a whole bunch of groups of Zerglings now, so this will be control group two. Very good. Control group zero. Zergling weapon. Alright, well, I value the time a little bit more. Oh, this 
Sin gas. Weird. <sighs> Our forces are under attack. There's a Vespian geyser. chamber. How we doing here? Alright, so control group three now. We'll get three just to start the mining operation here. So, it seems like there's like other bases throughout the map, and then there's the yellow base. Group zero, that's pretty nice. Oh, no, it's two more because I was clicked on one of those guys. So we need we need more Vespine. Down past half. This is control group four. We can just hang out here. So yeah, doing like only probing attacks and they really are favoring air units a lot. Alright, so the air armor is upgraded. Um, not super thrilled about the uh, wasted time on these upgrades though. 
So that's control group zero. We got a full stack. Next, we're going to do control group nine of flyers. Go there. And we can't really. Very good, so just... No, no, no. Just, just remain calm. Just remain calm. Get some more overloads. And then this is priority. Yep. That needs to be always working. So the the deposits of minerals are starting to go down. I think we've made good investments. Um, and we have this over here that we can use. So nothing too crazy happening yet. I would love my units to have upgrades before I sent them on the attack or defense. defense. armor for all of our units, all of our ground units. That's pretty big. So in order of priority, we want to take this out so we can mine that. That's number one. Number two, I think, is going to take this out over here. We are looking for a second Vespine deposit. We're down to 1,068 in reserves, which is not ideal. Um, we are upgrading our Zerglings, which is a non-Vespine unit. And, I mean... They're going to be pretty important considering the situation. I know, I know. Another upgrade, so we got two, three, four, and then we do not have a control group five. That's you. Welcome to the group control group five. So that evolution's complete, so both of these are the final upgrade for our flyers. And so I value the time it takes for the upgrades is just so long, so I value the first one I can upgrade more than the armor. So when we hit 250, um, we'll be doing that. In the meantime, let's get some more housing so we don't get housing capped. Get some more Zerglings, get some more Zerglings. And you can all go here. Yeah, you can all go here. And then you can all go here. There we go. Oh, I 
accidentally took too much time doing that, so when this guy drops off, I'm gonna do this. But that was an error. That was not ideal. And then we're at housing, so no need for more overlords. Just go. Why not? Just go. We have the we have the minerals. Tell me what is there when you're there. All forces are under attack. This is what it feels like to go against the endless waves of the Zerg. That is a Vesphine simulator. Alright, that timing was a little sus. here too, so I'd say this was a pretty good investment of our time. Everything's okay. got a much more clear view of what's going on on the map, so we got that going for us. Anyway, with the extra resources we currently have, we can do this. All of you can actually come over here. So number one thing we need is that. Number two thing we need is this. And the rest of you are really just waiting. Um... Four Zerglings. Four! The Swarm. The Swarm! So because of those air units, we're going to come in and support. All forces are under attack. Guys are completed, literally my nightmare. Focus fire on them. Go, 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 go. Game chugging. All 
Alright. Well. That's that, huh? Anyway. So, control group 0 can go back here. Control group 9 can go back here. We'll deal with the, the repercussions of that at a later date. I'm kinda worried about the chugging. I've never seen this before. My my rig is uh, it's not new, but it is not like old. Hopefully, this is a problem that I can remedy. So we're gonna say we're gonna do an emergency save. Just in case, um, because of the chugging. Uh, not into that. Yeah. Also, like, I gotta keep building these servers. It's like, what do you think? We need the best speed more than anything else. Well, at least I wasted the minerals and it's still important. Goodness gracious. Anyway, so we're going to build another hive. So we want it to be in between, yeah, right there. And you, I want to build more Vespine. Very good. Yeah, we can just speak it out. Control group zero. You're good. Control group nine. You need more. So besides like flying units, I'm starting to think that there's not too many paths over here. Oh yeah, just take them out. that now. Hurry up. Well, the chugging is... Well, it's annoying. <laughs> it is annoying. Alright, well, that could be your job. We can have a lot of... Alright, so, you got it. So, so with the evolution chamber, we don't need too many more, which is very nice, because we're currently having uh, a Vespin shortage, which should be resolved pretty soon here, actually. I'm actually going to build, yeah, so we can get some defensive turrets in the area. game hates the amount of servlings are in it. I'm not really sure. This reminds me of playing Red Alert 2 as a kid on a, a very old computer. And, uh... Like, when you... Because there's no population cap in Red Alert 2. But, of course, uh... The, I mean, the computers back then couldn't handle 
200 conscripts on the screen at once. Like, it just wasn't gonna do it. And the game was sort of designed to make it so that it'd be hard to do. But still, like... The game couldn't do it. Are you done? You are what's in between me and glory. Alright, well, let's take you two. And you two can just start mining that. Because by the time you get there, yeah. And that'll save me some pop space. Yeah, and while we're just waiting, basically we're just waiting for Vespeed production to get back online. So while we're doing that, we're just going to build an absurd, an absolutely absurd amount of uh, Zerglings. And why not? Now I ask you, why not? We require more Vespeed gas. Oh, I understand. Get it. So we gotta punch through here and get here and like just review destroy the temple, right? So we're gonna just swarm it. It's gonna be crazy. I hate the lag so much. Yeah, 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 you're you're maxed out. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize this. That extractor's depleted. Oh, they're both depleted. Oh, I'm so upset. <laughs> okay, that explains a lot. Okay, so I am going to... Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Apologies, viewers. That's my fault. I'm going to slowly build my second stack of mutalisks. And while doing that... I am going to just absolutely max out my population of Zerglings, right? And should be a good time. Uh, should. Um, uh, but yeah, so the the extractors being empty—that's a problem. Was there one here? No. All right, so we're gonna take you and go over here. We're gonna take like, frankly, you're not doing much, so you're gonna go over here too. And I want this. Yeah, now get on over there. Cannot believe I didn't figure this out on my own earlier. That is that is my bad viewers. Sorry about that. But yeah, basically I just want to send so many Zerglings in here. And then Mutas go past while the Zerglings are just destroying. Like making permanently destructive things happen to them. It's so slow. It's so slow. Oh boy. How are we doing on this? Yeah, so that's the last upgrade, I think. So we'll Alright, this is the moment of truth. <laughs> 5,000 Vespine. That's what we're talking about here, people. Um, so I actually could build one more. Uh, you don't say, uh... Well, it's not actually horrific that we're uh, mining two, or no, excuse me, now three depleted uh, places. It's just, like, embarrassing that I didn't notice. Like, we are technically trickling them in. Like, that guy's gonna come in and give me two, and two times three times, what, about five? workers each it, it, it's not horrible but but especially for late game and the fact that all my techs are researched but you know it's, it's embarrassing that I didn't notice it's a that's just a rookie mistake it's got to be just the most rookie of mistakes uh, get on over here and speed this process up all 
forces are under attack. Go, 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 go. And then honestly, control group one, you can be here. Go, Muta! They're shooting my units like they're not even. They can't do anything about it, it's so mean. I think they're gonna pop up right around here. We all know. Could you please build three and you'll be all the workers here? Yep, no, 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 no weirdness here. Okay. It's gonna feel real good when we have Vespine again. Flyers are fully upgraded. Basically, once this is set up, uh, we, we should be in a pretty good, like, oh, the wrong button. It's just the wrong button, always good. Goodness, the Zerglings don't take much, do they? Alright, we're changing the drop-off point. And you can build me another Muta. Now we're one away. So I don't think we're getting missile attack level three. We're barely using our hydras. So we're done with upgrades. Or at least we should. I hate that the game is chugging so much because my laundry needs to be changed out. <laughs> and I live in an apartment, so it's kind of rude if I just leave it in there when the guy behind me wants to change. Alright. You go first, find the path. Oh, 
I just hit. Oh yeah, just destroy it, yeah. Here we go. starting. Okay for now. So our unit that we're protecting is this. Right. And there's no guard function that I'm aware of anyway. Um but I made him patrol group. Um what did I make him? I made him control group zero, so I can double click zero and get him anytime I want. Everything's okay. Look 
get distracted. You can, your are Here he is. Just need him to end up there. And we're done. On power. Yeah, the uh, Protoss buildings need to be next to uh, the power structures to be done. Yep. Our forces are under attack. All right, here we go. Shall the events set into motion so long ago be made complete? For the Protoss too were created by the Zelnaga. They were the first creation, gifted with a purity of form. And we were the second creation, blessed with a purity of essence. Indeed, our two species are but opposite facets of a greater whole. Soon shall our two races be made as one. Thenceforth shall all feel the wrath of the eternal swarm. For the hour of judgment is come. That's a bit much, huh? Well, the Zelnaga also created the Protoss. That's pretty cool. I think I just, like, look at all of that. Yeah, I was I was gas shorted the whole time, but I had plenty of minerals, so going zergling was worth it. That was absolutely terrifying. So that was it for this week and it for the Zerg campaign. I have accidentally clicked and I didn't mean to. <laughs> Next will be the Protoss, my second favorite race in StarCraft. This has been Noxus Flag. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one for Protoss episode.